When I'm back, I'm going to be doing um, not really a workbook work shelf Wednesday. I'm just going to be showing you kind of um, some of our favorites, our favorite hands-on activities. So um, here we go. Some of our homeschool favorites that we've had for years that I keep breaking out over and over again with each one of my kids. First thing here is this. This is called um, Animal Words. Hmm by Spice Box Early Learning for ages three and up. I received this when my five-year-old was about two years old and I've been using it with all of my kids so far and it's great because um, there are little puzzles for example here there are little puzzles and there's two piece puzzles picture word that's it and you can go from some of your basic common animals to a lot more complex animals let me show you there's goes up to porcupine um, I believe there's iguana in here um, they have you know dog cat of course iguana panda gorilla lamb goose um, goat hamster tons of animals okay just tons and my two-year-old loves them he puts them together we set you know sound out or spell out the um the the animal and then you can delve into deeper conversations with them as they get older like what you know in terms of you know where do they think they live um what characteristics of the environment that they live is it cold is it is it hot um, where do you think they, they, what kind of homes do you think they have? you think they live underground? What kind of food do you think that they eat? And you can do a whole unit studies seriously based around these things for preschoolers. So this is awesome. And we've had these for quite some time and, and, and it doesn't get, it doesn't Fascinating get old. Fascinating facts, human body game. This thing is amazing. My five-year-old is in love with this. Oh, well, all my kids like it because you can take dude apart. Look, his heart comes out, his liver comes out, his stomach comes out, his intestines come out. Um, I'm not his lungs come out. All these pieces come out, and there are little cards, quiz hey. cards. Yeah, that's his heart. So let me take this guy out. So every week we pretty much because we've been doing anatomy. We've been going and using this just to quiz our knowledge of certain body systems. And it's great. Here's one, for example. The answer is the stomach. But I'll ask my five-year-old the Daddy. questions on the back. Daddy. And, Daddy. yes, food stays in this organ for around, oh. for around four hours while acids break the food down. Mm. What is it? When air escapes this organ, it's called a burp. Stuff like that. Loves it. This is from Lakeshore Learning, and all the kids get in on the action with this because they can take it apart and put it back together again, and it's just lots of fun for them, and it just reinforces what we've been learning in terms of our um, human anatomy. This goes along with the Match It game from last week that I talked about. This is the Mathematics Match It. And again, for that one-to-one -one counting correspondence and basic addition. So my three-year-old, I've gotten him started on these, and he loves it. We are Right now, we aren't doing the addition one, but we're simply doing the ones that have the number of things. Okay, And he counts them, and then he'll match it up. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine strawberries. So I'll put this out with a few other numbers and he'll find the right number and match it up so these are cool and for my five-year-old specifically sometimes people want to know what do you do in your downtime like how do you reinforce learning even when they're not actually having school we have a subscription to High Five. This is highlights, but for kids ages four to six or four to seven, I believe. I remember reading Highlights magazine when I was a child. I loved Highlights, and I was so thrilled when I found out that they have it for younger kids. So um, this is awesome because he can read these. There's poems. There's tons of stories that are all educational that kind of make him critically think. Um, find a hidden um, objects again logic 
um, and it's paying attention to detail, getting ready, Spanish, um, read aloud in English and Spanish. You know, random funny little um, stories about animals, finding things that are out of place that don't belong. Um, again, more logic, more stories, and some of them even have little games um, that you can um, do with them, like this one. Here they have dump truck, steamroller, things of that nature. Go on a ride, little activities that you can do with your kids. Um, games, matching card games in here included. Okay, this one, we haven't gotten a chance to go through this one yet. This is, I believe, the October edition, and we have just, we haven't even gotten a chance to go into this. Listening, how to make um, a telephone. This is awesome, and he loves these, and so during his quiet time, he sits down and reads these, and sometimes I sit with him, and we do some of the activities together. So educational stuff while they're having downtime. Highlights, I really recommend. So these are just some of our favorite things, things that we've been doing for a while. He's been subscribed to this since he was three, um, and these are just activities that I've either found online or things that are just my absolute favorite that we just have around the house and that we had for years. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. I'll definitely link all of these activities or, um, you know, where you can get a subscription, where you can find these things. And um, I hope that this has been helpful. And um, if you guys have any questions about other things that you can do with your kids aside from your Montessori shelf work, uh, let me know. Okay, bye-bye.